He had a lousy uncle that killed his dad and his mother took a daddy's killer to her bed. How very sad. Oh, Hamlet. He had this friend who ran a kid next door in this old Danish castle of Elsinore. He was a ghost. Okay, to the place. He was a clever motherfucker who wouldn't show his face. Hamlet had to promise him he would kill, but then he wasn't sure if he ever will. Frankly speaking, he was not the kind. He had the serious flow. He couldn't make up his mind. To be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be, be, be. To be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be, be, be. Was it true? Was it true? Was it true they were lovers? He didn't know. It was all yes and no and no and yes and yes and no for the Prince of Denmark. Oh, Hamlet. So once, so once this actress came, came and he set a trap, his mama and his uncle took a wrong step. Now he had some proof they were a horny couple. A mama was a bitch and uncle was a fucker. In his fury, Hamlet did the stupid thing. He murdered Polonius instead of the king. He was sent abroad to be killed on the spot. I had a naval rumble and got left behind. He had a serious flaw. He couldn't make up his mind. To be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be, be, be. To be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be or not to be, to be, be, be. Now Hamlet had to kill or be killed by the king. This was no more a game, but the real thing was life or death. Oh, Hamlet! So there was this funeral and all that stuff. They buried Ophelia, his only only love. Her brother was a real pain in the ass. He jumped into the grave. The guy had no class. They started to fight. Hamlet and, and the brother, brother with the poison sword, they wounded each other. Some good poisoned wine killed the mother witch, and Hamlet killed the royal son of a bitch. <laughs> He ran a sword through the old man's heart, then said to his friend Horatio, Be smart, try to keep your ass away from bloody mess. The rest is silence. <laughs>